The next thing we need to consider is if the tourniquet has not stopped the bleed and if there is still a distal pulse, what do you need to do? The first thing you need to do is check that the tourniquet may not be tight enough and you may need to apply more pressure. When you apply a tourniquet, you need to use a lot of force for it to be effective. If the first one is at the right pressure, then you need to decide what you're going to do next. The choices are applying direct pressure to the wound, use a hemostatic dressing, or apply another tourniquet. The first one to consider would be the use of direct pressure and a pressure dressing. This may not have worked before, but now the tourniquet is in place, the blood pressure would have dropped, so that a direct pressure and a pressure dressing may now work. This is the simplest and most effective option. The next option is to use hemostatic dressing or apply another tourniquet. There's not much guidance on what to use and you'll have to make a decision on what's best. If you do not have another tourniquet or a hemostatic dressing, the choice may be made for you, but you could apply an improvised tourniquet if you've not got a commercial one. If you do apply a second tourniquet, apply it above or below the first one on a single bone if possible, keeping it five centimeters above the joint. You could apply it to the lower leg or lower arm as it may be effective there now as the blood pressure has dropped. Note the time of the second tourniquet application and do not remove either tourniquet. It's not common, but you could apply a third tourniquet if necessary.